Hey guys, I'm back and today I'd like to give a another update on the American chestnuts. Um it's been a while, I haven't really made a lot of videos. Uh I'm not I'm over being sick now. So that's good. Um I'm just gonna give you kind of like a spring update on these trees and I'm gonna title it like are these trees resistant or something like that. And hopefully it takes off in the algorithm. Okay, let's get into the trees. As usual, we are going to start with Goliath. The biggest American chestnut tree that's here. Probably a good, I don't know, uh, 55, 55, I don't know, 60 feet. Probably 60 feet. So let's walk over here. Okay, that's sapling I was talking about. There is a sapling that came off this tree somewhere, but I cannot find it. I have looked and everything looks the same right now because there's, except for that crap right there, there's not really any leaves on the sapling. So I have no idea where it was. I know it's here and I'll have to look for it and I'll have to make sure I don't accidentally step on it. So let's just carefully walk right here. Walk over to the tree. All right, so <clears throat> this tree has been taking a heavy beating, but look at this. The tree has healed itself, which is awesome. Are these trees blight tolerant? I would say, yeah, these trees are definitely blight tolerant. Like. I've never seen an American chestnut do that. It's trying to close the holes, close the wounds. That wound right there is closing up. More around here are closing up. Obviously this, obviously this tree is going to die, but it is fighting back pretty hard. This tree is like, I don't want to die yet. As you can see right there, it's trying to grow around that. And there's many more holes up there. I mean, this tree has been probably attacked by the blight for like five ten years <laughs> it looks like at least this tree i know is going to die but it's cool to see it try to fight back and usually they don't fight back they just die so let's go around here and hopefully there's not saplings around here the sapling is i know is around here somewhere but i can't find it now i'll definitely be able to find it when it finally gets leaves so obviously it's trying to grow back right there but that is very impressive up there if you can see that it's trying its best to heal that that is very cool that it's trying to do that. I really wanted to get, I really wanted to get um, offspring off this tree and hopefully I can still get it before it dies or well, find that sapling wherever it is. And that would be direct, a direct descendant of this tree. So this tree is still technically alive. I mean, it might get a couple leaves on top. It probably won't produce any pollen, but it's still hanging on despite all the constant attacks from the blight. Let me just try to get an angle from this side. As you can see, on this side, there's not really. So it hasn't been completely girdled yet. All, right there is almost girdled. But hasn't completely been girdled yet. That's a, obviously an ongoing fight right there. All right, let's get to the other trees. I really wish this tree wouldn't have gotten blight. Or I actually wish I would have found this tree years earlier. And the problem of not having offspring would have been solved. All right, on to the next tree. All right, once again to the second biggest tree. And the one that's actually healthy at the moment. With not really any tankers that I'm worried about yet. As you can see, nothing really new on this side. I mean, yeah, there's some... <clears throat> I don't know if you can see it, but... It's trying to climb, but they're not making any progress. The cankers that are appearing, they're getting closed up faster than they can appear. So, as right here, I believe this was a canker at one time that healed. This is, I think this is callus. So this tree definitely has some blight tolerance, heavy blight tolerance, if that was a canker. Right here, I know this was a canker, right here down at the bottom. Um, apparently this is a big canker where you see that sunken in mark right there where it healed. That, I don't know if that's new or not. Probably have to pack this crack with mud to make sure to stop it. Because I don't want this tree to die anytime soon. We have to get offspring off this tree. And that little one over there is the key to that. Um, obviously right there, it looked like there was some fight. This, yeah, this is more callus right here. This is more wounds than it healed from the blight. This was heavily attacked down here. But it looks like this tree has won right now. 
as you go up as you go up you can see there's there's a crack i am worried about right there that looks like it's sinking a little bit hopefully the tree can fight it off um not really anything like too concerning but yeah that little crack up there is concerning but i had other ones that look like that and then they healed up so but this tree definitely is stronger than the other one <clears throat> well i don't know how long the other one has been attacked but this one seems to be holding off the blight pretty well hopefully we can get some pollen though this year so as you can see all these burrs down here but they were all empty there were some that were not empty but the bugs got to them or and the six we did pick up we accidentally froze because we thought that was how to get rid of the bugs and it's not you actually have to put the nuts in water and heat them to a certain temperature for like 20 minutes exactly to kill the weevils but we didn't do that so yeah so we lost six nuts which could have been avoided if we would have actually known how to do it but google's too stupid to know how to do it so talking to someone that's professional at it is the the way to go all right let's get on to the let's get on to the little tree all right so here we are back at the little tree um obviously there's some really good growth on this tree this is the going to be the lifesaver here if that other tree dies this tree i don't see any cankers on it at all my theory with these trees is that they are blight resistant up to a certain eh, up to a certain age which could be possible, but I'm not sure. But that's my theory that these are blight resistant up to, I don't know, 30 years, and then they blight, which would be awesome if that was true. Because this one, I don't see any, any sign of blight. Problem with this tree is there's too many trees around it, so it's not getting enough sunlight to get pollen. So that's why that, that tree right there hopefully dies. If that dies right there, and that dies right there, this tree can go right up that hole right there and hopefully get to sunlight um this we need this tree right here to produce pollen so we can pollinate the other one over there the one over there wherever it is uh it's hard to see it's behind that tree right there in between right there so hopefully if this one can manage to get some pollen this year we'll actually have nuts or we're gonna have to rely on that sapling over there if i could find it so that's a little update. Hopefully that tree dies. And so does that one. This tree is already worthless anyway. Look at it. And then up there, it's hollow up there too. So it's a worthless tree. And so is that one because it has the same problem. All right, guys. That's it for this video. Went over a few things. Um, Sorry about the lack of uploads. Don't really know what to record. Have not gotten chick yet. Don't know when I will. Um been crazy the last few weeks sick and then i kind of don't know what to film but this is a good idea good video to do so we did it i got a video done and yeah i guess that's it <laughs> try to get more videos up i don't know when i'm getting chicks like i said probably i don't know i either have to get them soon or i'm gonna have to wait till after i come back from camp at the end of june but then that's going to run in my other camp too. So probably should just get them and get it over with to get them raised up. Because Tate's going to take like two months. So I'll have to get that done. Uh, thank you guys for the support. Thank you guys for watching through all this. Um, obviously I got more things to come for this channel. We're not going to get monetized by June like I wished. Which was a unrealistic goal anyway. So unrealistic goal anyway. So, okay, guys, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to drop a like on this video, hit that notification bell, subscribe for more content, and as always, watch that playlist wherever it may be. I don't know where I'll put it, I'll put it there, maybe there, maybe there, maybe there. Watch that playlist so we can get monetized. I created a playlist, I think it's called My Tree Addiction or something, and so I'll have all the tree videos in that playlist, and this will be in the playlist too. So if you're just interested in trees, you can just watch stuff about trees. Instead of having to go through that playlist of like eight, 60 videos, you can just watch one topic you're interested in. Okay, guys. Don't forget to keep electrified, and I'll see y'all later.